beautiful ones. I'm so grateful to be here with you. I'm so grateful to be here to share with each and every one of you that within each and every one of us, we have the ability to step into miracles. We have that ability to transform our world. We have our ability to take the chaos that we see around us today, okay, out in the world, out in the media, out in Ukraine and Russia. Oh, we have the ability to take the fear that, that the masses that most people are feeling now today. And we have the ability to take that and to craft it into using our special gifts here to raise the vibrational frequency of our planet, to raise our own vibrational frequency so that we will know that we all is safe, all is well, and that this has been divinely inspired by source, by God herself, himself, exactly what is unfolding here. And to talk about what a miracle it is that we are here during these times, and also that we survived these times. So the first thing I want to say is a welcome to everyone, that it is such a miracle that we are here, many of us are here maskless, Finally, after two years, we're alive. We have gotten this far through what I like to say, I never use that C word, I call it Corona, because Corona means light. And so that as we went through those dark times, our brilliance can reemerge in our Corona, our light, our crown, our chakras, our, our mission can reemerge so that we can now do the work that we came here to do. And so I call it the grand initiation of 2020, 2021, and 2022. So if you are in this room, give yourself a hand. <laughs> we have made it this far. And I want you to know our work has just begun. The work of miracle manifesting, the work of stepping into our power, the work of sovereignty, the work of, of manifesting that destiny has really just begun. And I am Jonah Angels. I am channeling with you today the, the messages from Joan of Arc Angel. Joan of Arc was that warrior, that spiritual warrior, who at the age of 14 or 15 goes to meet the king because she knows that she has those messages of truth, those messages of miracles, because it would have taken a miracle to save France in those days, as it will take miracles to save our country and our planet and our world these days. And we ask for divine help. So many years ago, when I was 30 years old, and I won't even tell you how long ago that was, <laughs> but when I got my chiropractic degree, and I was sitting there going, oh my God, I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I'm a doctor of taking your body and learning how to heal it from the inside out, because that's been my motto my entire life, that we heal from the inside out. And so... I went to a visioning class. I said, what am I supposed to do with this gift? And in this visioning workshop, I was shown myself on a podium, kind of like this, but higher, no microphone. And there behind me was a goddess and she was standing there and I was dressed, you know, in goddess wear. You, would, you could see the wings and, and we were going like this. And in front of us were millions of people crossing by in front of us. They had their crutches, their wheelchairs, they were crawling, they were starving, they were emaciated, and they were dropping all of that, their crutches, their wheelchairs, everything as they were walking in front of us. And I knew then that my mission was to heal and inspire millions of people. I didn't know what that meant, but I knew that that was what I was heading towards, and that's who I am. And, I, and so I want to share a story with you when we talk about stepping into the miraculous. So I want you to imagine right now that we are on a galaxy very far away, just like Star Wars. Those galaxies exist and we're out there because it's a true story. And on this galaxy, okay, there's a little boy, a little star boy, you know, a little extraterrestrial, we might call him. Might not even look human. But there he is. He's looking down at that planet Earth. And he's going, oh, my God, what a hot mess that planet is, <laughs> right? That planet is a hot mess. And he's just a little boy with an extra special cosmic consciousness. And he's sitting up there going, that planet needs miracles. So what is he doing? He is actually up there 
And this is a true story because I can feel it because the extraterrestrial beings are out there helping us and these little boys and little girls, extra space beings are so compassionate to the planet that they are actually literally sending down miracle seeds to the planet. And I want you to understand that these miracle seeds get sent down into the oceans and the seas, right? And who drinks those miracle seeds? Who starts to feed on those miracle seeds? But the fish, right? The fish and the animals in the sea. And the humans, they fish, they pick up those fish. And the water gets used for our plants and our vegetation. And before you know it, these people up there have a plan for us. And that plan for us, that these miracle seeds are that are going to get planted are going to shift into the consciousness of humanity and start to stir and spread and sprinkle and start to awaken each and every soul who has drunk of that water. And that is what, who has eaten of that food, who has had that fish. And so the planting of miracle seeds is part of that stepping into the miraculous. And so what is the miraculous? When my children and I, so I'm going to give you the fastest story in the history of the world. I lost everything in 2000 and, no, 1998. I even forgot that far back. My kids and I lost everything. And I had been a very successful chiropractor in Brooklyn. But I lost confidence in myself. And my ego took over. And as a result, because I've had this contract with my guides that I either stay on the straight or narrow, or they're going to let me know something's wrong, my kids and I lost everything, including the kitchen sink. And so we ran off, packed everything in my car, Land Rover, went down to, which we lost to, went down to my sister's and camped out. And I said, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because I was a mess. And then I remembered that I used to teach mastermind. Right? To, my, to my patients, we would talk about how to mastermind, how to visual, visualize what you wanted. And so I turned to my kids because I knew that they were the only people I had left to manifest with, to mastermind with. And so the kids and I sat together and we held hands. And I had no idea my kids knew how to chant OM. And before you know it, we're chanting OM. And my kids and I started visualizing what it is we want in our world. Now, we know we have nothing. We have no money. We have nothing. So we know we need miracles. Everything was a miracle. The miracle of finding a new home. The miracle of getting a car. The miracle of having enough money to feed them. The miracle of, of just being in existence. And so every night, we would sit together and hold hands and ask for our life to unfold in some way, shape, or form we could identify with. And so what were we doing? We were coming together and we were raising the vibration of the law of attraction, the vibration of attracting what we wanted. And so we'd come together, we'd chant, and before you know it, our vibrations started to get raised to the higher vibrations to attract that which we are seeking for. And so before we know, knew it, little things kept happening. And we'd manifest now in those days, $20 was a lot of money. I walked into 7-Eleven after we did a manifestation circle and there was $20 on the floor. Yeah. So little things would start to happen. And I'd say to my kids, what should we call my, ourselves? And the kids came up with the name. They said, let's call ourselves the Miracle Makers Club. Why? <laughs> because my daughter said, out of the mouth of a 10 year old, she says, mom, we do not want others to suffer like we had to. Can we go around the world when we get our money and help people live their life creating miracles so that they do not have to suffer the way we did? So we learned three things. We learned, number one, that in order to step into this miraculous energetics, okay, we needed to step out of, our, out of ourselves. We needed to see the big picture. So I want to remind each and every one of us that in order for us to energize the planet, energize these miracle seeds that are coming not only from outer space, but from inside of us, for the planet and for ourselves, personal, global, and galactic miracles, we need to come to sort of terms with what's in ourselves. And the first 
thing we do is we want to raise our vibration. Now, I know you're sitting there wondering, well, how did you get to be named John of the Angels? And I'm going to give you the fast story. In 2013, I was feeling less than miraculous, and I was saying, how can I manifest my path? And I heard a voice that said, paint 33 angels in 30 days. So I looked at that voice, it's right here, and I said, well, I don't paint eyes. And the voice said, you're to paint 33 angels in 30 days, yes or no? And I go, but, I, but, 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 but I'm busy, oil paints, no, mess. You have one more chance. And I said, yes. And they later told me that either you say yes, and they give you that, and then and you do it, and they'll give it to you again, or you say no, you ignore it, and they give it to someone else. So I said yes to painting 33 angels. And five years later, I was told to move out to the desert. When I got to the desert on day two, I was sitting with a, a friend of mine who lived out here, and she was introducing me to a new woman. His name was Robin, and, and she said, what did you say your name was? You know, And I said, well, it's Joan. I started to give her my whole name. She goes, we're in the middle of a busy restaurant. Some of you might know it. It's in Desert Heart Springs, the cottage. And, she, and suddenly you hear nothing, like the whole room goes silent. She says, I know who you are. You're, you're, you're Joan of Angels. Okay. That's how I got the name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> However, I know I have to tell you, because I could hear someone was thinking, well, how'd you get that name, Joan of Angels? But I'm going to tell you something. It took me until this year to understand what Joan of the Angels really meant, to step into the name of who Joan of the Angels is, to remember the visions I had as a younger woman, that my job is here to heal, inspire, uplift, and raise the vibratory frequencies to help you remember. To help you remember what? To remember that you came down here, we all did. We came down here as volunteers to help here. And we heard that planet Earth was a hot mess many of us, and many of us so raise your hand if this could be true for you, if you volunteered to come down here. You volunteered because you knew planet Earth was a hot mess, right? And you knew you had some kind of weird assignment down here. And this was billions of years ago, right? And suddenly, here you are, and the assignment is now. That's what I'm here to tell you. You were assigned to come here to wake up right now. This initiation is right now. This grand initiation is right now, and all the things that are on that clipboard, yes, they gave you a clipboard. I want you to know about that. That clipboard is a toolkit that you, you didn't come here unprepared. Now, some people are tearing their hair, you know, oh my God, it's too much for me. No, it's not too much. You agreed to be here right now to do what you came here to do and what your assignment is. Ah, so many of my clients go, well, what's my assignment? What am I here to do? And I go, look at the toolkit. What's the toolkit? It's on your clipboard, which is out in the back. <laughs> I have a toolkit out there. I mean, a clipboard for you. What's on the toolkit? Because we all were given tools. We didn't come down here naked. Okay? You have special skills, special gifts. I call them your superpowers. And in fact, I teach classes on intuition is your superpower, because it is. But we have other superpowers, compassion, kindness, the ability to, to see the big picture, right? The... Um, the ability, clairvoyance, some of you see the future. Some of you have the ability to bring, to raise your hand if you can bring peace and balance in a room, right? When you walk in a room, people know you are that person, right? Or you, you bring um, beauty, like your job is just to beautify things or to bring resolution to conflicts. Like you all have different skills. That is part of your toolkit. So when our little guy is up in the cosmos and he's sending down these miracle seeds, he actually is sending them right down through each and every one of us via today, by the way, to wake up those miracle seeds because we all have the ability to step into the miraculous. And the miraculous is this. It's manifesting. I wrote it down. I have a piece of paper. Of course, I can't access it now. Anytime I prepare my speech, they make sure I leave it. <laughs> so... so. <laughs> Because they even, if I don't have this message, I can't deliver it. So what is miracle? So you understand it. It's manifesting intentional or inspirational realities, activating, awakening, accelerating um, 
all those juicy things so that you're awake with it. M I R A C for clarity, clear guidance, and certainty, certainty, and courage. Courage to take out that toolkit and go, okay, what the heck am I doing here now? So about two years ago, I had a little glitch. Now raise your hand if you might have had a glitch a couple of years ago and go, I don't know if I can do this. This is too much. This this whole thing, these masks, these, oh my God, what is happening? I had a glitch. For a moment, I wanted to be taken care of. It's like, this is too much for me. And I heard a voice, okay? And I do hear voices. My guides talk to me differently. And this voice said, <clears throat> just like that, <clears throat> hello down there, Joan. <clears throat> so I heard, and it said, oh, yes, you're going around telling everyone you're the only Joan of Angels on the planet, aren't you? And I went, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then they said to me, so you understand that, that you have a responsibility, just like each and every one of you has a responsibility. They said, just because you have these gifts of connecting with us doesn't mean that you could fall apart over here. We didn't give you these gifts or awaken you to this. We could fall apart. And they explained to me that what we don't use, we lose. So guys, all those steps on your clipboard, all of those, those gifts that you've come down here with that are your mission, your purpose, your, your miracle of this life are here now for you to remember them and to step up and begin to use them to become that miracle maker. Why? So that we can start, you can start doing what you came here to do, your mission, your purpose. When you step into your personal power, then literally you open the light, the way, the path for those around you to step into their power. Does that make sense to you? And then when they step into their power and raise their vibratory frequency, then those people who've been waiting for them to awaken, and yes, there are people around you who are waiting for you to get it. They're waiting for you to like this little knock on the side of the head going, <clears throat> we mean you, all those, those special skills, it's time to stand up. If not now, when? Because by 2030, who knows what it's gonna look like here. This is the time, this is the place and you are the people, you are the ones. We are the ones we are calling for because we actually agreed to come down and do it. And so even if it looks like a hot mess, I can guarantee that you actually have all the skills you need to actually do your mission, your purpose, and your talent. And I can guarantee that we need you to do it more than ever because you can imagine it each and every one was actually doing our job, raising the vibration, and we know that light clears away the darkness, and that when each and every one of us holds our light frequency high to the power of seven, eight, nine, and 10, that the dark fades, the dark portals fade, and the light takes over and wins. And who's on the winning side? If you on the winning side, say yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are on the side of light. So who here is a miracle maker? that remembers you have the ability to actually hold your power, your sovereignty, your ability to, to do what you came here to do. You can take your clipboard out and you can go, oh yeah, I came here to be kind. I came here to share my gifts. I came here to help others remember who they are or why they're here. I came here like Paul did to, to open their heart with music. Or, you know, like Annie as an intuitive does, you know, or, or Victoria, who, who's fearless and free. We came here to remind each other that we're on this hot mess planet together. We need to go through it. It's our grand initiation. It is our destiny to unfold who we are together and collaboratively. And so my guide said, well, what are you doing now? And they said, well, we're calling the Angel Brigade because we are Joan of Angels. We represent the archangels who are here to help our planet, those planting those miracle seeds to help each and every one of us thrive and excel and be the leader we came here to be. Or you wouldn't be here anymore because if you notice, there are people who are leaving the planet. But we're here. 
We're here because we still have our work to do, to step into that miraculous, to set our intentions, to understand we're working with more celestial energies. And so I have, how much time do I have? It's easy to, I'm in another universe, my friends. Take us with you. Yeah. About 10 minutes. Okay. Do you need help? No, no, I don't need any help. Yes, I have a lot of help. <laughs> I have a lot of help. Okay, so, so the first key to miracle mastery is remembering that you came here for a reason, a mission, and a purpose. And to begin to remember what that is. And you could take your clue from all the things you like to do. Because your mission and purpose is not the things you don't like to do. Okay? They're really not. They're really the things you would do, whether people pay you or not. Whether you're, you know, you're just going to do because that's you. And that might be your friend is crying and you just bake her a cake. Okay? And that's the thing you do that brings peace and balance. And you're known for that. But you're planting that cake. I mean, you're, you're baking that cake by planting seeds of your intentions of love and beauty and peace and harmony. So we set our intentions of where we're going. So another key to miracle mastery, to, to becoming a miracle maker is unfolding who we are, why we're here, and beginning to do that which raises our frequencies. Surrounding ourselves with miracle buddies, miracle allies, people who see the best in us, who don't really care, you know, who don't see your faults, but see you for who you are and what you stand for. So a few years ago, I was guided to create these, these cards. And I was laying in bed every night, and I'd see all my artwork dancing in front of me angels dancing in front of me and, and temples and portals. And they, they did that until I created these cards. Okay, that's what my guides do. They, they bug me until I get the message. And then I feel like I can bug all my clients until they get the message. So we bring it, this is the master teacher. So, so how do we get to these states? Oh, you know, I'm so used to Zoom. <laughs> I'm so used to Zoom that I'm holding this in front of the microphone. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, master teacher. We bring you wisdom from the stars, which I think is kind of funny because that's how I started the wisdom from the stars. Align and remember who you are. So that is step one. We are miracle makers. We came down here with our clipboard, volunteers to help humanity. Your guides want you to know we have volunteer pay and vacation time ready for when we've completed this mission. And we will because this ascension process that's happening now, we have been assured is gonna happen. It was aborted in many lifetimes because of the evils on the planet. But this lifetime, there's, we're being encouraged to speak our truth. Thank you. So card number two that comes up, and I have these cards out in the front there for you. Interdimensional, I keep doing it. <laughs> Interdimensional gateways. So when we step, the image I use for myself with stepping into the miraculous is opening up the curtain to step through that portal. Vibrational alignment, all is possible. I want you to remember that. Any thought that you have in your mind, any vision of who you are or why you're here or your best gifts or that what you think is on that clipboard, I want you to understand something that if you actually have that vision, it's because spirit, source, God, and you are aligned, and you are that manifester of that vision. So trust the guidance that you are being given to and receiving, because that is who you are. And our destination lies ahead. We deserve to succeed. So what does it mean to succeed? It means that each and every one of you begins that process of feeling into your, your strength, your power, your, your abilities. So let's do a little meditation. Let's do a little practice with what this looks like. I am going to take out my very special wand. I think some of you saw Victoria had a wand last time. This particular wand is a selenite wand. It's the wand of angel realms, but also 
It's a wand that actually can shift through the energy. So I'm going to invite all of you, as I tell you a little story too. But as I start, I'm going to invite you all to start to rub your hands together. And this rubbing of your hands together, and I want you to start to feel that energy in the middle of your hands, between your hands. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Just start to feel that energy. Maybe send that energy out and around. Good. Send that energy up to me, and I'm going to send it back to you. Dearest ones, Mother, Father, God, we ask right now that we be filled, surrounded, protected with light. We ask for the presence of our angelic team, of our spirit guides, of the light beings that have worked with us for so many lifetimes. We ask that we can feel the presence, that we can feel that merging with them so that we know from our bottoms of our feet to the tops of our crowns that we are here together to uplift, to remember who we are, to work through these cycles of karma so that we can ascend, so that we can be, return home to the celestial realms. We ask for clarity. We ask for balance. So right now, sending our, our roots down to the center of the earth, from our feet going down through that mantle of that earth and actually literally feeling those roots penetrating the earth and going down, down, down through the rocks, through the water, through the oil, through the seeds there, cracking open the earth, going down, down, down to the center of that earth. And now from the center of the earth, going back up, and returning to the body and from your crown, feeling a antenna going from the top of your crown all the way up to the heavens. And so that you are aligned right now from the heavens down through the top of your crown and down through into the center of the earth. And breathing in that in. And feeling right now your body expanding and expanding and expanding as if from that crown you're being pulled up. And you're being pulled up, and you're being pulled up higher and higher and higher. And there, from that place thousands and thousands and thousands of miles above the earth, you can see, we see each other. We look around, and we see all of us out there, our orb field, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles out there. And we look down upon that planet. We begin to send now miracle seeds down there. We begin to send energies of peace and balance and harmony. We ask that each person, each sentient being, be filled with remembering their purpose, with remembering the light, with remembering that miracles are possible, with remembering that they too can let go of anything that no longer serves them as we step into the memories of who we are. And as we understand that as our vibrational frequency raises, we are raising the energy of each and every soul around us. And as we raise that light and we look over the planet, we see light towers. We start to see energy going from our light towers to the towers around us. We start to see we're connecting an energetic web of celestial sounds, celestial light, celestial frequencies. And as we create that and interweave them around our planet now, and we interweave them, we start to notice that those celestial sounds and those celestial seeds are sort of drifting down to the planet, breaking free any restrictions around that earth, breaking through the 5G grid that surrounds that planet, breaking through the fear grids that surround that planet, the prison grids that surround that planet. And as we sitting up here in our light bodies, noticing the entire planet starting to light up as those stuck places in the energetic field around that planet are being opened 
cracked and open. My beloved ones, planet Earth is ready to receive those energies of miracles from on high that go into your heart, that come from your heart out to that planet from your hands, out to that planet, lighting it up, being on fire and spreading the seeds of miracles, the seeds of love, the seeds of peace, the seeds of knowing that this too will pass. And so it is. And so it is, and so we know this to be true. So guys, I want you all to stand up with me and repeat after me. I am a miracle maker. I'm a miracle maker. I am a magnet for miracles. Miracles. So let's just rub our hands together and do it again. All right, let's raise this vibration so that those of you who are listening to this now or later will literally feel this running through your body. I, I am a magnet, magnet, magnet for miracles. For miracles. miracles. Oh, yes, repeat it one more time. I'm a magnet for miracles. I'm a magnet for miracles. Woo! And so it is. So, so it is. is. So guys, I want you to know you can reach me at joanbangels.com. Oh, if you feel like you need help uncovering that miracle maker within you, please reach out. I have a special offer for all of you with a little special gift discount and a book on your soul purpose on the website. But also I live down in Desert Heart Springs and I'm putting out an invitation that if you feel the need to be surrounded by angels, all right, because my house is that of the angels. You can't miss it when you walk in the door. Please reach out to me, email or whatever, and you are welcome to, you are invited, okay? And so it is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm. I feel a little miraculous. <laughs> One more time. Yeah.